Whether it was deserved or not, um, Harold Kecky had come to symbolise everything that was, that was wrong about the current state within the Solomon Islands. We needed Harold to surrender his firearms so that if we were ever to get a sort of a knock-on effect, so then the other militia groups would actually uh, surrender theirs. So I think having been down in that part of Guadalcanal in a very, very sort of isolated way, I think there was a, a real sense of curiosity from Harold about what was Ramsey, who were we, um, what was going to be different and that was one of our key messages right from the start was that the status quo was no longer going to be an option. Ultimately, yeah, curiosity got to uh, Harold and he, he did want to actually talk to us and we then had uh, a series of meetings in a, uh, you know, in, in, in a little chapel. It was the place of Harold's choosing. Ben uh, told him that uh, he, would, uh, he would be arrested uh, for essentially quite a, a minor, minor crime. And I pulled the warrant out and I read it to Harold at one of these negotiations in front of the altar and told Harold that this warrant commanded me to bring him before the court. And so ultimately uh, this mass murderer was arrested for failing to attend court to answer a charge of stealing a motor. Whether Harold really understood what he was doing, uh, I don't know, but he certainly did it uh, voluntarily and in a sense he did it, uh, did it happily. Why, why, did, why did Keke decide to surrender himself to us to arrest just three weeks after we arrived? I think he wanted his time in court to explain why he had taken the actions that he had taken. And we did provide him with, uh, with that opportunity, but I think for him that was, uh, that was truly important.